Hey guys, this is Peter and today I'm taking a look at a brand new antenna by Maswell. This is a 4x4 MIMO and yeah, it supports 5G. In fact, it supports 4G, 3G, GSM, even Wi-Fi. That's because this antenna will support anything from 600 megahertz up through 8000. So it is a very versatile piece. And yeah, if you wanted to, you could use this for Wi-Fi. So I know a lot of people in the past have said, hey, I, I have a, a barn outside or I need to get down the street and this would be fantastic. In fact, I know of an installation that's a warehouse and they have a bunch of guys that are literally down the street using small handheld computers. So multiple input, multiple output would be excellent for that. And this, of course, would allow you to get there. Now, what I like about this unit the most is its price point at 230 it contains all the cables you'd need if you have a short cable length. So if you just needed to get outside into the warehouse, that kind of thing, well, these cables are about six feet long and the leads on the end of the uh, uh, antenna are about a foot and a half. So this be about seven feet. Always cover your connectors then when they're outside. If they're uh, out in the elements, you definitely want to connect, uh, cover all connections. You can use a little silicone tape. It's excellent. I'll put a link to that. Um, let's check out how this is doing. I put it outside on my roof. I ran some really long leads to it. I'm going to hit refresh. And yeah, this is what we're getting. This I put it, of course, on my T-Mobile. And my primary signal is B66. That's a great band. And for my secondary signal, 5G, because this is 5G NSA, 4G is your primary signal. And your secondary signal is going to be your 5G signal. This happens to be N41, which is the best that this radio can do right now. So in fact, it's the best this radio can do. This particular radio, the one I have, the Nokia, will get N41 and N77. A lot of new ones started to add N66 and all sorts of ones. There, in fact, the brand new one will even support N77, which is gonna be great when it gets here. Right now, it actually has less bandwidth on it than N41. But hey, we've, go, we've gone too far. Let's see what kind of scores this gets. Uh, we'll do a speed test on it, all of the above. Let's take a look at the scores. I'm getting bars. So people always think bars could tell the story. They only tell your power story. They tell how much power you're getting and uh, we're getting 90, negative 95 decibels. And what we're looking for is anything above 100, but the higher, the better. And by the higher, I mean a negative number. So the lower, the better. So uh, 80 would be ideal, 95 is what we're getting. Signal to noise ratio, we're looking, 20 is ideal. And 17 is, well, it's a little bit below. So we wanna go as close as we can to 20 and going over would be great. In fact, look at the signal to noise ratio of the 5G signal. 30 is off the hook. That's a great signal. But the bars, the bars aren't gonna change. The bars are only associated to power. And uh, reference signal received quality is also a good number. Negative 10 is ideal. Negative 9 would be primo. But negative 11 is right in that same range. So very good. Both signals are getting uh, both good signals. Let's do a quick test and see what we can run. Hey, if you did have this Nokia one or any of the other ones, oh, I do have a video that will show you how to get these scores on any of the radios because I realize some of the radios don't do it, but somebody went out and wrote an app and I have a video on it that talks about the app and how to use it and how to download it. I'll put a link to that down below if I can remember. So uh, if not, someone will remind me. Let's take a look at a speed test real quick. This is what this antenna is doing up on my roof using this particular radio. We can of course compare it to something else, a 20 millisecond ping, that's what I normally get. We've just got into the 300 zone. That is not bad. 350 zone. This 360. I'm seeing a 360. I saw, well, three, oh, 370 would be nice. 357. Not bad. And we're bouncing in the 20 zone. This is nice. So if it holds on to this, we have a nice baseline. If you did need to get a signal just outside, and you, obviously if you wanted to cover a warehouse or something like that, hey, this would be a great solution. If the other solutions that I've shown from Proxycast or from Waveform have N-type antennas, and they require some specialized cables, some more expensive cables that ramp up the price rather quickly, this allows you to keep, this is your final price if this is your cable length, um, 230, which makes it an exciting 
piece. The IPEX connectors that you find inside these radios that you bring out to SMA with, yeah, they have the same ones for Wi-Fi. So you can simply pick them out, bring them out, and push it through the wall and blast. Yeah, and there's two, there's uh, four antennas inside, so this would be perfect. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and change the leads. I'm going to remind us what the scores were. Here, I'm going to take a copy of this. New. And let's just copy these down so we can compare them. And I'm going to switch the leads, and we'll come back and take a look, and then we'll run another speed test and see what, what it yields. But again, this price point is pretty special. 230 out the door, cables included. The uh, waveform that I'm about to hook up is $399, and it comes with everything you possibly need. But uh, this one uh, will, of course, beat that. Or if you wanted to use the waveform to gather these and then use this for Wi-Fi, there you go. That's a neat solution, too. Let's go ahead, flip it, and let me bring up those scores one more time. These are the ones we want to see. I'm going to go ahead and change that cabling for you. All right, well, I'm back, and uh, let's go ahead and remind ourselves these were the scores we were getting, and I'm going to hit refresh and see what the new scores are. Again, this is a much more expensive antenna. Click those back. Okay, so what are we seeing here? We see a power score that's better. 80 is uh, ideal, and well, uh, what we want to do is get as far away from 100 as we can. So 89 is better than 95, and it's still not perfect though. It's, so how about the sig uh, reference signal uh, signal noise ratio? 21. We we're looking for 20 as ideal. 21 is even better. I like that. Negative 8 is better than negative 10, so yeah, that's uh, better too. Negative 11 wasn't a bad score, so this is a slightly better score. Both are yielding three bars, by the way. That's just uh, neither here nor there. But you're going to see that these other scores are probably going to yield something better, especially because this is 5G NSA and this is our primary band. Primary band is, of course, going to have more importance than a secondary band. Again, uh, the closest we can to negative 80 is going to be great, and the further away from 100, so yeah, 84 is better than 87. However, 27 isn't quite as good as 30, and they're both negative 11 dB. Let's see what that did to our speed test. Go ahead and bring this up. 357, just like a magnum, and 20. All right, what we're going to first see is the ping. It's going to let us know the latency of this network and approximately 20. 20 is pretty good. And, ooh, am I seeing fours? Oh, I see some fours. Three, we were at 357. So four, if we can hold this four, that'll be great. But, you know, 357, four, you see the difference. If you're, pay, and, and we were seeing 20, right? So 19 something. This is better. Now, if you said, hey, I just need to get the guys down the street to be able to get a signal, Either one would get them a signal. And if you were doing upload, download, maybe you're going to say, hey, that's good enough. That's way better than I was getting before. And yeah, this is what you're getting with the more expensive antenna. This, I'm so kind of surprised, though. I want to hit refresh on this one more time. All right, guys, so there you go. This is the Maswell. It's their new 5G 4x4 Mimo. And yeah, this is a neat product. I did go ahead, and here, I'm going to show you. I took the screws off the back just to take a little peek inside. It's a single multi-level uh, PCB, and so that's how they made the antenna. It's incredibly clean looking and has some good looking solder joints. I didn't notice any sealant around, the reason I took it off was I didn't notice any sealant around the, the outer perimeter. So I, when I removed the screws and looked underneath, there's a beautiful orange gasket underneath that shows does the whole perimeter. So yes, this is indeed sealed. And, it's a pretty good job. And uh, what I like about this one is it already has the SMA connectors natively on the product. So yeah, if you did want to have a very short run, you could just connect this directly to a lot of different modems that are out there uh, with the short leads that are on there. Or if you want it, it comes with all the cabling you'd need to extend it another six feet. But if you do want to take something 30 feet away or more, you might as well look uh, at some of the other products from either ProxyCast or the other Waveform. Waveform is uh, the one I have up on my roof. That, of course, is a more expensive option, but it does yield a little more score. 
Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Give this thumbs up if you thought it was a fair and equitable review. And we will see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.